quick overview of my carrier. Spav L MOS Tactical in there. I guess you could say it was a limited run of uh, one of 50. So 50 units of the swimmer cut, 50 units of the sappy cut, and this desert tiger strip. Have some cry precision buckles on the back. Velcro for the comms. Plastic cummerbund with three mag pouches on each side. So this is a shooter cut, swim, slash swimmer cut style plate bags. Check one of 50. Have the 556 matching placard. But I might be running, uh, grabbing a Spiritus Coyote play card. See what's going in front of that. Pretty decent shoulder pads, pretty comfortable to wear. Has code 3810s. I think a size large, they uh, matches the dimensions on here. 10 by 12s, yep. Pretty solid. Plates are about two and a half pounds a piece. These are three loaded mags. They're about 10 pounds, maybe, if that. Like eight for the belt. So we got T-Rex arms, uh, duty belt, speed belt, whatever you want to call it. It's not nowhere near as strong as my lead devils, but it's actually way more comfortable. Um, got their Med One pouch with their refill kit in it, tourniquet on the bottom. Uh, there are tech locks on all three of these little mag carriers as well, so it's all pretty much a whole T-Rex arm setup. That True North concept with the Safari Land TLS system on the back. So I can go between my Glock and my Staccato P. Die strap. Yeah, and I pretty much every day wear this uh, Velcro belt, the inner belt that goes to this. It's pretty comfortable. Oh, gotta have this little clip on the back for my Ear Pro whenever I'm not using them. So far, pretty solid. I've used it for the last six months and kind of just put my lead devil's one in the in the closet. Really don't use that one anymore. I do want to try out the, uh, the Feral Conscious Bison's belt. As well as their FC PC5 plate carrier. So they got their soft armor dropping tomorrow. I'm probably going to build a load out on that. Debate if I want to go Ranger Green, all black, or... See if I can get multi-cam. So it's just normally out of stock.